going on guys? Josh Marksman here. So let's hop right into this. We're going to be setting up OBS today so you can stream, record videos. So we're going to hop right into this. Go into your Google and type in OBS in your search bar. So open, broadca uh, open broadcast software, OBS projects, click right there. So you're going to see this pop up and then you're going to go to download in the top right hand corner. Click download right there. You're going to see this. You're going to scroll down a little bit. You can see OBS Classic, and then it's uh, the current version, August 30th, and then you can click on Download and Install this green button. I already have it downloaded. As you can see, I already have it over here. You're going to click Download, and it's gonna. you're just going to go through the settings. You can put it wherever you want. Um, yeah, so wherever it's best for you. So I'm going to close that for now. I'm going to bring over this button over here, and I'm going to bring over what I'm recording with. Um, so every time you're going to open OBS, you're going to always run as administrator. I always do it just in case if it needs it. I haven't had any problems going to run as administrator, so I would just strongly recommend running as administrator. So I'm going to teach you how to open, uh, like, start up your scenes, start up your sources. But first, we are going to go jump right into the settings. So we're going to go first into the general. General stays the same. We're going to click on encoding. Um, OK, so we're going to go with bitrate. I usually have it at 2200. It all depends on your PC. So and, and it depends on your internet as well. So if you have like one or less gigabyte upload and you're trying to stream with that, you're going to have a little bit of an issue. Um, but you can always just, you can test it yourself. But start low. Uh, everything else, I usually have the bitrate around there. Like, you can guys can copy my settings, really. But you're going to be going, like, some of you people might not have, like, as a computer as I do. Would I, like, uh, when I'm going to live stream, since I always live stream, boom, you click on live stream, and then you click on wherever you want to live stream to, YouTube, whatever, I I do it on Twitch. And then I go to uh, wherever is closest to you on this FMS URL, which for me would have to be New York. And then the stream key. Let me find, okay, so let's go to Twitch. Okay, so it automatically comes up with mine because that's what mine's on. Um, we're going to click on Twitch here. We're going to go, your name is here. Let me mute that. So we're going to go down to Dashboard. Okay, so you get all this stuff, this fancy stuff, and then you're going to see up on the, underneath Dashboard here, you can see Live, Editing, Activity, Status, Video Status, and then Stream Key. That's what you're going to want to click on. Click on that, and then you're going to click Show Key. And then you're going to click I Understand. You're going to copy that uh, key there. And then you're just going to keep trying to copy it until it actually does, because sometimes it doesn't copy the first time. Um, and if someone ever gets a hold of this, don't give this to anybody whatsoever. Make sure that, that you keep that away from everybody, and then you can always reset it. There's a reset button underneath. You're going to see that whenever you look at it. You can always reset it. Just do not give that to anybody because that gives everybody the option to be able to stream on your channel. And if they pop it into this bar right here, if they pop it into there, they can stream whatever they want, whenever they want, really, until you switch that key. Um, I always have auto reconnect on. Uh, 10 seconds. I don't really have a delay. If you want to add a delay to your stream, you can do 30 second delay, you can do 5,000 second delay. I have mine on zero because I like to interact with my viewers a little bit more. The longer the delay, the less you're going to be interactive with your viewers because the longer it takes for you to reply. But you can choose wherever you want to send your videos if you record. Mine automatically sends to the videos. I kept it stock. This is exactly how it is for me. Then you have a replay if you... Um, you click on the video on the recording. You, there's a little down button right there. There's a replay option there. Um, no, because mine's the exact same. Um, so it goes off your graphics card. We sorry. We go click on video. Then there's uh, this is my graphics card. Really, it's kind of crappy, but 
you just have that's your video adapter. I always stream on 1920 by 1080 because I keep it at the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, and if you want to see other aspect ratios, you can easily just turn it. You can type in 1920 by 1080 in there, and then you can actually see all the other nine, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratios. And you can actually turn it to whatever you want. Um, this is just what's going to be popping out on your screen. So you're downscaling that to your Twitch, YouTube, or whatever. So it's going to be playing to your viewers as, um, let's say, 1280 by 720. But you will be uploading your resolution. Like this base, my base right here, the blue and all that crap, like my screen is the 1920 by 1080. So you're, I'm streaming 1920 by 1080. But then I will be uploading 1280 by 720 if I click that. But I keep it at none. I have my FPS at 60. Um, you're going to probably want, if you're doing higher end games and you have an actual good PC that can be able to handle it while you're playing, like let's say if you're streaming strictly PC gaming, sorry about that background noise, I can't handle that, that's my heater and it's freaking freezing in here anyway. Um, if you're streaming, let's say CSGO um, and you have a kind of like a less high tech computer, you can always just change it to like 45 or 30, whatever you really want. Try to like, if you're going to stream, try to keep it like above 30, I would say. But if you have to, you have to go lower. If you have to, if you have, if that's gonna keep your stream going. But this is what I have. You guys can copy this if you guys have like a decently alright computer. You can't really go any higher than this. Like if I understand why you would, let's just move on anyway. Um, my, you can have it as default speakers. I always have it on my headset speakers just because that's what I like to hear through. I don't like hearing through anything else, and then I'm obviously recording with my Blue Yeti microphone, whatever. I usually keep it at default if, like, if I was like on a different PC and I didn't have these. But this is what I specifically like it going through. So you can just put it on default for both. Um, I kept everything else stock, um, like as it came, as I downloaded it. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. You can have push a talk. So let's say if you want to, you can change this to like your insert button. So whenever you're talking, like um, if I clicked apply, I would have to hold down insert in order for you to hear this. I was just making sure that you guys could still hear me if I put it to that. And then you'd have to obviously click push a talk. So you'd have this and then you'd have that and then apply. Now I have to hold the insert button. See, you can't hear me there, right? So, boom, there you go. Now you can hear me. All right, so that's how that works. You can have the mute mic, whatever, start stream. You can put whatever you want in here. Just make sure it's not any buttons you usually use during your video games or whenever you're streaming because it'll stop it if you even are in the game and then you won't even notice it. Let's move forward. Advanced. I don't think I messed with any of this other than the CPU. I put to very fast because I didn't want to go ultra fast or anything like that. Because some of the games I play are on like are high CPU uh, using games. Um, I usually keep that very fast. Very fast works perfectly for me. This all depends on your computer, really. So I can't really say much. I always have my encoding profile on a high, always. Um, I didn't really touch anything else. Um, it's just self-explanatory, really. There's nothing else there that you should be fiddling with. Like, if you're having issues with any of this, I can just help you out in the comments, really. There's, that's just telling you exactly what I use. Because I stream, like, almost daily. So, this is exactly my settings. You guys can copy my settings if you really like. Um, I, I don't touch the, like, any of this. Um... Yeah, I don't touch anything else. Alright, so we're going to skip out of that. Let's go right into creating a scene. So, I'm going to add a scene. And then it's just going to be called, let's say, PC. I don't know if this will stop recording. Let's see. I don't think so. PC already exists. So. PC1. Okay, so it didn't stop recording. But you guys can't see me anymore because we're on this scene. See, like, I can click on that screen. Click on that one, and then boom, 
if you want to add a window, let's say monitor capture, you can just click monitor capture there, and then you can type in whatever. So you can say monitor, whatever. So I already have a monitor capture, as you can see, but you can just choose between whichever one. Um, I usually have it capturing my cursor. Um, you can select subregion, so then this box will pop up, and then you actually can choose where you want it to capture. So let's, uh, I guess, do that so that you guys can just see that. So then, boom, it already automatically plugs it in. Okay, so it, let's say you want to record, I guess, let's say RuneScape or something. Um, so let me open this for you. Uh, let me add uh, window capture. Then we'll just go, I guess, RuneScape. This is just like an example. So we'll have it selected as the RuneScape. Um, you'll just see it if you even hover over OS Buddy Pro. Then you see right there. Then um, you'll just go select subregion. And then you'll select the region. You'll click it on, and then you'll select that. And then I don't want this top bar in there, so I will adjust it as so as I don't want like these little gray bars. I'll make it a tiny bit smaller. Okay, boom. And then once you're done with this, all you have to do is click on this box or anywhere else other than on top of that box. And then you just click OK. So you'll see it here. So let me edit, you click edit scene, let me put this over to the other screen so that you don't see that, but it's still open. So what you're going to do is see, like it, sometimes it goes like, you see what I mean? Like you can't get it to go over there, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to actually hold shift when you're adjusting. See, now you can grab it. So when you hold shift, you're right into the corner. Boom. And there you go. I had to turn down my mic and... Had to change around a little bit of settings, so I stopped for a bit there. All right, we're back. Um, so if you want to know how to add a webcam or anything like that, let me let me fix this. Let me put out RuneScape for now. As you can see, let me put that over there now. Um, so there's the RuneScape thing, which you can do that for any game, really. Um, I find it's best to have games in window mode, but... If you're going to capture a full game, like a full screen game, you're going to want to do the monitor, like as I'm recording this, this monitor capture, the one I just showed you, um, such as, as I said, CSGO, anything, Skyrim, any PC gaming that takes full screen, you're going to want to do that. Um, but for your webcam, let me remove my webcam. Let me delete that. Okay, so now you can't see me. So we're going to go down to video capture device. We're gonna add webcam. So that's my group. That's my th um. Sorry about that. Um, that's my uh, capture card. We're gonna go with the Logitech HD Pro webcam because that's the webcam I use. And then we're gonna click. Okay, you can leave all the settings as is. Boom. Hello. So then we're gonna go click edit scene. Let me let me actually make this a little smaller first, and I'll show you how to make it like better. All right, so let's move this over here. Okay, so this is where you're going to be clicking your edit scene. So see how it comes with a, with a red box? That's when you're in edit scene mode. So you can grab it on the corner. You can size it and do the same thing as the RuneScape thing. So you can put it wherever you want, however you want. Then you click edit scene to stop doing that. And if you want to edit scene for different um, sources, you can just click on the source. And then you just see so you, you grab it like any box on any of the corners. Uh, yeah, see, even behind the webcam it works. Boom. All right, sorry. Um, I actually just kind of deleted this clip, so I'm gonna redo it. Um, so you can actually lower and higher your volume of your mic while you're streaming by simply just this full red bar. You just literally click on it and watch it. It'll go up and down. See when it's at thirty percent, I sound very far away or very like yeah, like I don't sound good. And then I go right back up, and it's normal. Um, you can adjust this. The green bar pretty much tells you where um, your mic is peaking at. So let's say I wanted to play some music, 
So let me play some music. See how it's below the um, my line on this one? So that means I have to speak a little bit more clearly, and then you can understand what I'm saying. But then, if I turn it down here a little bit more, I don't have to. And then you can simply just mute it. Um, but yeah, if you go really high, like, let me let me put it like this. See, when I'm talking, you can't understand what I'm saying very much. See, when you're doing that, you, you can't understand what I'm saying very much. So, that's simply how you can adjust it. So, like, you want it to be around halfway to maybe even a quarter of your mic volume like you can see it with a green bar um yeah and if you have no mic volume um try unplugging and plugging your mic back in that could fix your issue um what other issue did i have kind of with my mic um you can simply just um close your obs and reopen it with administrator again because sometimes people forget to do that um, even that that could be the case with your webcam as well unplug your webcam plug it back in and then flick like when I say flick with your webcam I mean like turn it off wait for a second and then turn it right back on and if it was if it's like still not working you could have to shut down your OBS and then re up um, redo it with administrator settings and then if it's still occurs you might want to contact someone on the forums of obs and then proceed with that um that's as far as i can go i don't know what else i can put there i'm going to be making a video about streamlabs and how to add that so i won't be remaking this tutorial i'll be just showing i'll be adding it on and then doing that all right guys i'm going to take the time right now and say that's it of the video take care thank you for watching hit that like button it'd be greatly appreciated and subscribe for more great videos and don't forget to leave a comment if you want to see any more tutorials on anything and then maybe i can do it because like yeah i that was really loud sorry all right take care guys